Hello everyone, today we are going to make snake and ladders in Java. I also have this JIT repository uh, which is in the description box below. So yeah, I can just dive head first into the project and I can create it. Snake and ladders. Hmm. It's ready. So we can create a new package. And we can name it com snake and ladders first one and inside the package we can create a new package as a sub package and com snake and ladders board yeah and new a new package we can give com snake ladders game and another package which is com snake ladders client this client is only going to contain the main class but i'm making it a separate package so that I, the client does not have access to information that are package private so we can start with the board and yeah we can create a couple of classes in it we can create a tile class yes and a snake and ladder class which is gonna contain two classes as the static inner classes which are snakes and ladders Right, type name or snake ladders. I'm gonna come and create another new class which can be board. And we don't want to make the boards too vast, so we can create another class which is board utils. I expect the board class to be heavy overloaded with information so I want to minimize the burden on the board class by creating a new class which is a utility class so we will start with the tile and that is this is going to be the smallest class ever I don't think it will go more than 10 lines of code and yeah I'll give a pr wait it might it might go more than 10 lines of code but it's too sharp tile coordinate of course mm. and a tile constructor private final and yeah final int tile coordinate and we can just give this tile coordinate equals to tile coordinate And yes, a getter is a public int get tile coordinate return tile coordinate. I managed to keep this class as short as possible, and I don't want to include extra methods such as a snake on tile or a ladder on tile or a player on tile. Because they can be managed in the snake class, ladder class, and player class respectively. So yeah, that's it. This has nothing but the tile coordinate. And I, I'll move on to the next class, which is snake ladders. And I made this into a single class snake and ladders. Because it's going to contain, like snake and ladders have much in common. Like only the sucking, that is the ladder pulls the player upwards and the snake pulls the uh, player downwards but others are just same the attributes such as the tile on head and the tile on tail and so on are same so we can just give a tile tile on head yes and the tile tile on tail And we can give a constructor 
snake ladders yeah now uh, tile just copy this actually this tail get this tile on head equals tile on head yeah this tile on tail equals tile on tail and we can make these final because once it's initialized it shouldn't change yeah final tile tile on head and a final tile tile on tail so I think <coughs> that's it we uh, we can make this abstract because we don't want anybody to instantiate this and we are going to have an abstract method in this which is a public not public an abstract void um, abstract void suck or pull will be correct I'll give it the pull and it's the player we are going to pull so I'll pass the player parameter here and yes I haven't created the class player so I'll just do that in game just a new class player yeah I can import that here so this is the abstract method because snake and ladder have a different both have a different implementation of this so i can make this abstract and a public static final class snake and the same thing goes for ladder ladder and these are just gonna contain one method a single method which is this abstract method on the snake ladders class the parent class and yeah extends snake ladders here as well and snake ladders yeah it's complaining because we aren't uh, overriding the methods that which don't have an implementation that is which are abstract in this parent class so we can do that avoid pull yeah player p and what we can do is the same for this as well oh yeah we haven't given the, given the constructor so we can do that snake this one will see super mm. tile on tail hmm. is the same thing we can just ask the ID to do it for us A little cleaning up so that so that it's much neat yeah the abstract method as well so what we can do is we can um, we, we can check if p dot get tile equals tile on head then p dot set tile we can give it curly braces p dot set tile tile on tail and just tell sys out p dot get name plus has gone down a snake 
how sweet. Yeah, we have to create all these methods in the player class. We'll ask the ID to do it for us. Alright. Yeah, uh, we can just keep them for namesake so that the ID doesn't complain and we can refactor that later. Get name, of course. Mm. Period set tile. Yeah. Mm. Just this dot tile on tail. This dot tile equals to tile. This much. Mm. Create field tile. Private tile tile. That's correct. Return tile and that's good just for now. I think this is correct if p dot get tile equals tile on head, p dot set tile tile on tail. And in this we can just copy this and we can paste this here. If p dot get tile equals tile on tail, p dot get name has Climb the ladder and p dot set tile tile on head. So this is also a short class. This doesn't go more than fifth, like it's fifty three lines of code. The, the shorter we can make it, the more easier it is to debug and add extra features. It's good if we have a huge output, like a good quality output and the short classes. And to mention, anyway, it's a command line game. Just mentioning that. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we can look up on the board class and the board utils class. So goodbye and thanks. Make sure to hit the like button. Goodbye.